The challenge is simple, a 1 minute versus 10 minute build. There will be no instructions, it will just be pure creativity, or in my case, lack thereof. Fingers crossed, we can get some magic happening. And it's all using just this bag. For more on where we got this, later on in the video. I'm gonna need uh, a bigger bucket, I think. This is all secondhand Star Wars logo, so I'm gonna have to really try to lean into that theme for inspiration. And we're off. Straight away, I went in for kind of something of a boat design, but I just couldn't really get my ideas down. My confidence started to get rocked. I started to panic, but in the end, I just couldn't come up with anything. So I had another crack, but this time I still couldn't build anything. I was clearly way too ambitious with one minute. So I ended up challenging myself with a five minute run that had much better results. But I kept getting caught up on the ultimate potential, like what I could do if I didn't have a time limit. So I kept missing that there was a time limit. So I kept taking my time and then I would suddenly rush and panic and I'd pull some of the pre-built stuff apart instead of just using it. Ah, it was a disaster. But I did have a lot of fun with the five minute one. I felt at the end a little bit more like, uh, you know, I, I know what I'm doing now. So hopefully this sets me up pretty good for the 10 minute challenge. I, I, was, I guess I was going for another boat type of thing. I don't know why I really liked boats in this, but I guess it was because it was a piece that looked like the front of a boat. So ultimately I settled on, uh, I don't know. It looks like a teleportation pad in a way, or maybe it's a prison ship uh, for a single inmate. <laughs> but hey, I had five minutes and I was a little bit overwhelmed, but it really went to show just how much this secondhand pack had in it. And I should have known. I'd bought one of these packs before, I'd seen what was in them, but I just, I just wasn't as prepared as I should have been. But before we get to the next part of our challenge, let's thank today's sponsor. Bricktastics were kind enough to sponsor this video today. They sent me out this Star Wars creativity pack and told me to get creative. These packs can contain up to 850 pieces for the one kilo bags. That is a lot of value. Bricktastics creativity packs come in all different themes as shown on screen. So if you want to start your creative journey and not be stuck to the instruction manual, check out the link in the description, get a nice discount and help me keep the lights on. After my failure with the one minute challenge and a little bit of success with the five minute, the pressure's really on now. I have to make something that at least looks half decent. I thought I was on track, I was going well, and then it struck me. I kind of built myself into a corner. Whatever I built was gonna be so small and unimpressive, I had to change things up. I settled on this idea and this concept in my head that I think I translated okay. But was I gonna make the time? That was the real question at this point. The clock was ticking. I was running out of time so fast. I kept looking at that clock and it kept distracting me. So I guess the question is, did I, did I succeed? So I'll let you be the judge. If you think this looks like complete garbage, let me know in the comments. But that's not it. I didn't want to settle just for what you could build in 10 minutes for this video. I really wanted to showcase just what you could do with a little bit of creativity and the right pieces, I guess. I made this little diorama. It's got an officer staring out a window. Hey, it could be Luke with a lightsaber dressed as an AT-AT driver. We've got whatever this is. I guess it's a kind of submarine or a torpedo of some kind. This one, I don't even know what to call him, but I just, as soon as I started putting them together, um, I had just this clear vision in mind. Quick build a flamethrower and a multi-tool hand. But wait, I wanted to see how far I could push my Marauder boat. So I took my time tonight and I made this into this. I took inspiration from Mad Max and Serenity. So I tried to make it a little bit more of like a, a junker scrapped this together and was just hunting the wastes now to try and, I don't know, capture survivors or whatever, but I really like it. Um, I'm gonna keep it as is. I probably might, add, once I start collecting a bit more, I might actually start adding to it. And eventually I wanna actually create this in a larger scale um, and make it more impressive. So if you wanna see that, make sure to hit the like button. 